Coming up next, a UFC Bantamweight Chill. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. All right, now our tail of the tape for this Bantamweight scrap. Four years apart with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon. This the Bruce is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 126 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bazooka. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, man. We are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker here. Forced to be reckoned with tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high level striker is, and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the UFC. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Come on, keep those hands up. Look at the force behind that leg kick. 
All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? I need more strikes. Right under the elbow, body contact. Keep those hands Lee going for the leg kick, nothing doing there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Straight punch lands. Just out of range with that right hook. He blocks the punch. Big kick lands. Let's go. One, two, high kick. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just unable to quite find that range. Set him up. Set him up. There it is. Sneaky head kick. Nice knee to the midsection there. Hip over when he throws that kick. Blocks the shot. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, nice right hand. And he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body, it could in the night. Ah, oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Punch over the top. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, he lands a hook there, DC. That was one of his more significant lands of the fight. He can land that strike over and over again. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Oh, nice jab. Round two straight ahead. You won that last round. He was all over you. He was better than that. Come on now. Let's shake it out. Get back in there. Let's get back to the game plan. Hands high. Work behind. All right, so a lot of highlights from which to choose after those previous five minutes. And on the other side, you better start checking some of these leg kicks, man. Yeah, and when your opponent is throwing that many leg kicks, it takes one good check. If he takes one, if he gets one good check off, he may deter him from throwing these kicks over and over. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Great punch. Oh, 
over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Big kick lands. And he landed the right hand there. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the chair. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Good punch. Powerful leg kick land. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Nice leg kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Just over three minutes now to go. Nice. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, caught him flushed with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands it. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Big oh, knee. big knee. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. He needs to get a takedown now. And they separate. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny does it. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. There's no give on that leg kick. Yeah. Oh, nice job to block the kick. That's a big strike right there. Right punch is good. The left also flush. Lee gets hit with a kick. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Checks the leg kick. Way to hide that leg kick with a right. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Right hook to the body. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh. Slips the shot. There's no tell. How about those that five minutes? All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. 
early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Strike. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Lee gets hit with a kick. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that extreme. He knew they would be available. He would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. <laughs> Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Slips the punch. Just missed with the left there. Oh, nice jab counter for him there. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. It's okay. Use your footwork. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Slips. Oh, that's a good right hand. And he continues to work the body here. Right hand upstairs. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Big power shot there. Big head kick lands. Nice strike. Oh, huge block. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Pretty good right hand. Just a Fight's gonna be over this what a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Score that takedown for me, man. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Oh, big shot lands. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Lee gets tattooed with that hook. Beautifully timed and placed. Spinning back fist. Big kick lands. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Oh! It was a good night if that landed. 20 seconds left. Come on, man. Let's get that 
got to whip his hip into that kick. Final seconds here. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. That's three oh, rounds in oh. the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, what a round it was for him. A lot of head kicks landed. Scrambled eggs on the other side. We'll see if he can recover. He does a great job of hiding it. He gives you no tell. He doesn't show you when he's coming. That's why those kicks have continued to land, even though he's done it multiple times. Had him hurt, almost finished. Look at him on the stool. He's still wobbling this round. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's played. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. The opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one-two. That was a thudding leg kick. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice sneaky head kick. Nice punch lands. Doubles up on the jab. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Lee's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Beautiful body kick. A beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. And he continues to work the body here. Ooh, what a head oh, kick. Man, what a punch. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Come on, keep moving, keep moving your feet. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast and so crisp. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Not there. Liver kick. That shot blocked by Lee. Oh. Big punch lands through the middle. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Get out of there. Checks that leg kick. Don't wait. Beautiful wait. head kick. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, nice right hand, John. The center line slips the punch. Big leg kick land. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. Oh, high amplitude head kick. Big body kick land. Big punch land. Ooh. Final minute. Four 
45 seconds remain in the round. Man, how good is his right hook counter? Beautiful body kick. Lands flush with that right hand. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves his goal. Go finish his fight. Oh! 20 seconds to go. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh! Oh! How about those five minutes? All right, that's the end of five minutes. That's the end of the round. You see the cut on his lip, and that thing is only getting worse. Pretty nasty gash at this point in time. You know he's going to need some sutures after the fact. The focus right now, though, keeping his head in the game. Don't think about the cut. You got to think about getting your offense going and shoring up that defense to prevent that cut from getting any worse. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. Oh, head kick blocked, though, by Lee. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Ooh, what a punch. How about that shin? Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Yeah, left hook found its target. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Big leg kick lands. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, let's go. Set the pace. You're set the pace. Big head kick. Remain in round five. Hands up, hands up. Oh. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish and you're getting an L? This is when you got to go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, that's a nice strike. How good is that right hand? Punches one. All right, under two minutes now to decide this one. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. That was the hit. Nice strike. Oh, nice. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Oh, 
that right hand is on point. got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Look at the turtle in that kick. One minute to go in the fight. Try to establish that jab. Ooh, what a punch. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Right hand upstairs. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. decision now in the buff has it ladies and gentlemen after five rounds we go to the judges scorecards for a decision all three judges score this contest 50 45 playing the winner by unanimous decision bruce the dragon Lee. all right congratulations to him he is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead and dance. He did that from start to finish, and he wins a unanimous.